And this is the first step. The first thing we do is with the lateral, uh, I call it the lateral cervical flexion. Then the next thing we're going to do is start to massage the muscles behind the pole with the head down and the head up. And then we come back and do the lateral flexion again. So this is kind of the first step to get their neck relaxed. There, see how she's, you're doing it, she's, it's easier now that we've done it once or twice, but she's relaxing and, and um, the joints are going to start loosening a little bit each time. Now when she, reach a point where she tenses up, just stop for a second, let her soften a little bit, but don't let her get away. You want to keep, yeah, that's right. And then you keep coming. When they resist, our tendency is to, is to, cause, to say stop, right? That's a, our natural tendency. It's counterintuitive. When they resist, you've got to yield just a tiny bit so they'll relax. Because the horse, when, you, when, a, when a horse feels no resistance, they stop resisting, you know? They stop pulling. So if they have nothing to pull against, if they have nothing to pull against, they stop pulling. So you don't give them anything to pull against. But you just release a little bit so that they, they stop resisting and then you keep going. Pardon? Do you ride? Yeah, not a lot. Because it's the same thing when you ride. Right, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the release that's yeah. important. It's not. But you drive. Yeah, I drive and I ride. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put my hands on yours. You're good here. And then, let me see. Oh, yeah, you're nice and soft there. You're doing very well. And then we would come on down. And if it's going well, you can speed it up. Come on down. Come on back a little farther. And you try to go a little farther than you did last time. There, and if her head comes down, that's a release. There, that was good, see? You kind of come a little farther each time. Okay. Yeah, that was a good level of feel. You went very light. See, Pete, when I do it a lot, and I go fast because I'm used to doing it, uh, it looks really easy, and it looks like I'm using more force, but I'm actually going very, very light. It's like when, I, when, when you ask the horse to, you know, to, you know, move its head. So, first I've got to get her in the ballpark. And I'm just gonna, you know, like that. That's that's really what ideally what you want to do. That's all I'm doing. Now, when they resist a little bit, you gotta use a little more force. But you're still trying to get back to that. You might have to use a little force to keep them in the ballpark, you know, so they don't go away. But then you want to go back to that to that light. And then if you can get them to relax there, relax there, and then I'll come down a little bit. I'm using the flats of my fingers or the backs. I'm using the the, the uh, flats right here to kind of demonstrate. Right here, see, and you'll find a little spot. Okay, there's a little tension there. She resists a little. So I'm going to soften here and see if I can get her to let that tension go. And then I'll come on down. And there's a little re resistance there, so I'm going to relax for a second, wait for her to stop, and then see if she'll let that go. Once they are relaxed, you can go harder. But if she tenses up there a little bit, I've got to soften again. Okay? And come on down, and come on down, and come on down. Come on down, come on down, come on down, okay? Now the vertebra run down here. So the first thing I'll have you do when you go in the stalls is, is kind of feel where they are. You don't want to go under them. You either want to go on the side or on the top and down a little as you do it. Sometimes they, it's better to come from the top and kind of come down like that, okay? So a little stiff here, so I'm going to see if I can get that to let go a little bit. But she's getting better and better each time. Good girl. Um, everybody got that? What time is it?